Okay, so today what we're gonna try and do is do an unboxing video. I've seen them on the internet and I got something cool which is the Raven scanner. So, I've had a scanner for a long time. This is my neat desk scanner. Neat, when I went to go replace this, is no longer in the desktop scanning business. They only do cloud stuff. So, uh, one, I can't use it. Two, I have to find something to replace it. So, I've been looking for a while trying to figure out what to place it. I rerun a small business where I have to scan a lot of new documents people bring me every day. And I found this, which is the Raven Scanner Original. This is a brand new company, I think. And I hadn't heard of it, so I figured we'd try it. And let's open it up. Let's see what's going on. You got it? Can you zoom in? So I haven't opened this up yet. I opened up the outside box. So here are the instructions, which I have to read. Can you see what's going on? Um, what is this? This looks like the new pad module. This looks like a name tag. I don't think that's what it is. And that's what it looks like. Uh, lots of cords, which I suppose I need because I got to plug it in. And then I'm going to film myself taking it out and then probably breaking it on camera, avoiding the warranty. Let's see what happens. Okay. There we go. What is this? Scanned self-inking rubber stamp. Oh, rapidly stamp scanned files. I don't know, but it looks cool, whatever it is. And then let's see what we got here. Ooh. Ooh, that sounded like it hurt. It looks like the paper feed. And here is the basic unit. Is it upside down? Where's the bottom? So this is what it, oh, I dropped something. Oh, the silica gel. So this is the basic piece with the paper feed and the huge uh, screen display, which you can see the neat desk just has buttons. It doesn't have the video screen. So I think that's the step up. Um, I'm going to set it up. And then we'll come back and see how it works. OK, so um, I only turned that off for like a second because it turned out to be easier to put together than I thought. So all I did is put in the paper tray up here. And then it says plug it into an Ethernet wire, or because it's a wireless scanner where my neat desk was not. Uh, it says plug it into an Ethernet wire, which I happen to have. It says you can do it via wireless too. But I'm trying not to screw that up. So there it's plugged in. Let me show you the back just so. Ooh. Um, and then pull that out. So the back, can you see that? Ooh, let me take this off. I don't think you need this. Can you see it? So the back is uh, the power, the Ethernet cable, and there's supposed to be a USB cable. Oh, here. Uh, I don't know if you can see. There's a USB, the standard USB, USB 2, one of those. It's not USB 3 or C or whatever it is um, on there. So, uh, and then it says plug it in via Ethernet, and then we're going to plug it in. So the it came with one cord separated into two pieces. And then we're going to see how long it takes to start up by plugging this in. So it's plugged in. I think the power on that thing's on. Is it? Yeah, maybe. Oh, and then I got to turn the thing on for sure. OK. Let me look at the next step. Yeah, power on. So now we hope that it works. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. Check it out. That guy's cute. I think he's a cute raven. So it comes with the stamp, which is a way to stamp your paper. Oh, shit, is he flying around? Try to take this one off now. Oh, this is a whole thing. Just take it off. I think that means I'm going to keep it. OK. After application. 
I don't know what that means. Okay. Um, this is after application completed. I don't know what application. So it comes with this self-inking stamp, and then it comes with a spare paper feed. The thing that I thought was a name tag is a paper feed that goes right inside. So I don't need that yet. I'm gonna put it off to the side. Rubber stamp, we're gonna put it off to the side. Oh. And then let us update. I'll see how long that takes. Does it look like it's gonna take a long time? Well, you with me on this one, so. And then I have a screen cleaner it comes with. And calibration paper. What are we gonna do? Okay, so what we did is we plugged it in, we loaded it, I put in my password, I opened a Raven account, which was very simple. It took me just, uh, I mean, 30 seconds, well, however long it took me to type. I type right on the screen. The interesting thing about the Raven, which I understand is different from the neat scanner, which I have, is it doesn't correct directly to your computer. So uh, for some people that's a positive, for some people that's a negative, uh, because it can go directly to Dropbox, my assistant can immediately look at the paperwork without me having to upload it. At the same time, if I'm scanning it to come directly to my computer, I can't do that. I have to send it to either Ravencloud or Dropbox, and then I have to download it to have it on my computer to go where I'm going. Um, I haven't explored it yet. I just started up, and once it started up, I figured we should come back on and explore it live. Uh, let's look at what it does. So it has the Raven logo here, which keeps changing. It also looks like it has a second protective layer on it. You guys saw me tear the one off. I think there's something else that's on it. I assume it's supposed to stay there. I'm gonna leave it there for right now as far as a protective coating over this screen. Uh, it has this character. It looks like he dresses uh, in all different sorts of clothes from different eras. Of course, that's why I would buy a scanner is based on uh, what kind of clothes their uh, logo or their mascot would wear. I think that's what, and then it also gives you a, a inspirational quote, which is the last thing I need when I do this kind of stuff. What I really wanna do is get to business. So you have two sided, well, let's see. So you have one sided face up, face down, two sided face down. So uh, let me do, we're gonna say two sided, which means we gotta put it face down in the future. Uh, I'm gonna put, this says color, black and white or grayscale. I'm gonna do color, cause I'm just gonna use their instructions as the first one, quality. I suppose 600 is the best. I'm gonna try 400 because I want it better than two. Two is actually relatively low for what I use, even though I mainly use typing, I think it would be low. And then it says destination Raven Cloud. We're gonna try and use Raven Cloud. It comes with free unlimited storage. So the reason why I ended up getting on Raven Cloud, and we're gonna try and put this on camera if I can, is I looked at another unboxing video that inspired me and I put a question. So. This is, uh, can you see it? You tell me if I'm, am I on? Can you read it? So it was Tech Lodo, uh, and I wrote it and I said, I don't see anything about the cloud system because I'm naturally superstitious, right? I, I naturally am skeptical. I think they're not gonna give me what they promise. It says the cloud system costs money or is it free permanently? I wanna make sure it's not just a free sign up. Is there permanently or is there a monthly subscription cost? And what Raven told me, and I believe that's the same logo, so I trust him. Uh, great question. Raven Cloud is free with your scanner purchase, no subscription fee required. Of course, what I do is cross-examine people for a living, so I'm not ready to accept that 100% myself. And I asked him again, forever, forever, ever, because I think it's important that I commit him to what he's saying. And he told me, uh, we'll have a free plan available forever, ever. Those, two, those who buy now get the benefit of everything being free along with unlimited storage. So it sounds to me like I get everything free. That's his words. And uh, he's bound by it because I think that's a full contract in YouTube uh, comments, which is the most important thing. So I'm just gonna use Ravencloud later and I will set up, for me, probably Dropbox. But if you can see, there's a whole bunch of different types of places you can set up where you wanna go. So I'm gonna save Ravencloud. I haven't signed in with my computer yet, so I don't know if I can get there. And then I put color. Let's see how fast this, I'm not gonna use that. Let's see how fast, so it says top down. This one moves, I'm not crazy about that. And then scan. See if it works, cross your fingers. 
It said 17 pages a minute, I think. Is that fast or slow? I'm not sure if that's... That's definitely slower than my neat desk, but it could be because it's color or because it's two-sided. I would normally just use regular black and white. Let me see. But then the other thing is, I guess you do all the editing and such on the actual screen. So I don't know if it's doing OCR right now, if it's getting the words as we speak. Let's see what we got. Oh, scanning page. So that means it's doing the OCR. This is uh, kind of interesting. I've never done this before, so this is kind of fun. And then, okay, what comes next? Now it's processing. So it has to do a lot of stuff, I guess. Um, let me see if I have something around which is not. Let me find something which is black. Oh, you know what? I'm going to look at that in a second. Okay. And this, we're still processing. Is it going to take this long every single time? Is there a way to cut off? I don't know. Is there a way to cut off OCR when I don't need it? We're going to have to figure that out because this is taking a minute longer than I'm used to. Oh, it's polishing. And I don't know if that's per page, but let's see what we got. Okay, no, it says still please wait. So I'm still waiting. Oh, but here we go. Let's see. Okay. We clicked on the first page. Yeah, there's a lot of waiting on this one. I was in love with this until about a second ago. Oh, and it's upside down? Did I put it in upside down? Let me see. If I put it in like this, am I going to have to do this for every page or is this like that? Okay. So there we go. Maybe there's something else I have to set up. Maybe Raven Scanner people will comment in my comments and tell me how to fix that. But there we go. So that's it. And then let's zoom in. Let's see how... I'm going to tell you, that looks super clear to me. That looks super clear. I zoomed in. I got to go see it on a different computer or a different setting to make sure it scans the right way. Let's uh, go to the next one. Oh, I didn't save it, so it went upside down again. Uh, am I going to have to do that? If I have to do that for every time, I will literally go crazy. Okay, save. Yeah, some of this is a little bit what I was worried about. It needs to be, oh, what's he doing? Page has been edited successfully. Oh wait, maybe I have to put the whole thing upside down because this is also upside down. Or did I rotate? Well, let me see, okay. Maybe I just don't know what I'm doing, which is generally how these things work. Did I put, I didn't put it upside down, did I? Did I put it upside down? So I put it in to test it again, but I feel like it took so long to do it. And then let's do this. Let's upload to Ravencloud. Send, okay, so that at least was very fast. The upload was very fast. Um, oh, maybe because I did it at a 400 DPI? The other thing, well, let's see what we got here. So this is the question. This is if you got questions, you can call them up. What's this? Is edit settings. Oh, so I got to go through and I'm going to remove blank pages just for general. Scan Bryce, scan Charter, so we keep where it is. Advanced settings. That's my name, app info. Um, where are we at? Well, I'm not in Chicago, but is it, it's October 2nd, right? Yeah. Okay. It shows you. Where do we have? America, Sao Paulo. This is not me. Are we in the same time zone as Anchorage? We are, right? No. I think we're in the same time zone as Anchorage. Let me see if it goes around the world. Oh, here. No, it says Pacific Honolulu. They don't consider us. America is Anchorage, Honolulu is Pacific. So 
Um, and it, it is a different type of spider. But we go, okay, show touches, that's cool, debug. Let's calibrate just to see if that works. Oh, I didn't have to do anything? Well, it comes with a calibration paper, but they didn't make me put anything in. So I don't know if I did anything wrong. Okay, let's, um, I'm gonna scan this, which is just notes I have uh, for a case, which is not important. But let's see how it is. Two-sided, so we're gonna have, uh, let's do one-sided, let's just do one-sided face up, because I like that. And then I'm gonna do in color just because, uh, actually, you know what, I wanna see if black and white is better. Let me just see if black and white goes faster. And let's see how it looks. Now that was way faster, a thousand. Did their phone number show up on the video? Because then we could get in trouble. Okay, so that went way faster. I'm a full professional studio here. People think this is a fly-by-night. No, 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 no. This is full service. Oh yeah, no, look. But again, I did it upside down. So I think I have to start putting things in upside down. I just have to get my mind around that what I normally do is upside down. Oh, and it scans a thousand times faster, right? Because it, it didn't, the processing and the polishing took half a second. Let me see what we got here. There we go. So I guess there's not a setting that makes it automatically uh, tell you what's straight up and what's down. I guess it doesn't do that automatically. Let me see. So I saved it, but I should have looked at it closer. Um, let's see what happens. And I don't know if it OCR, so I'm gonna look at this, but this is a public document. It's not secret, but I don't, you shouldn't look at it anyway, but let me see. Yeah, it looks good to me. I think that looks good. I can read all the words, for example. I don't know if I know, I think I have to sign on to see if it's, um, I think I have to sign on to see if it OCR correctly, but I'd have to do that later. Um, I think that's it. So, so far I like it. Uh, check with me in a month and I'll tell you if I love it or if I'm going to keep using it. So far, so good. It, uh, why don't we put it right next to this one? It looks just about the same size as the Neat. It is, it has a huge screen, which the Neat didn't have. Of course, that's, what, an eight, ten-year-old model? I mean, I had that at least seven years, different versions of it. Um... And uh, maybe it works. And now every time I come to the office, I can look at this and I can see a little cornball joke from the Raven. So thank you very much for checking in. And uh, we're going to try the scanner and we'll see what happens next.